Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rural Ports. My name's Captain Mike. Today I got Luis helping me out here. We're gonna be doing some deep sea fishing out here, trying to get some kingfish, sailfish, mahi, tuna, see what's biting out here. I think it's gonna be good. We got a nice little chop out here. I'm very optimistic. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of drift fishing. We got the kite today. I'm gonna bring you along with me, tell you what kind of gear we're using, what rigs we're using, everything that you can do to come out here and do this on your own. Put some fish in the cooler, release some nice fish, practice some conservation out here and just have a good time with your friends and family. So right now, I'm just getting set up out here, kind of identifying which way the current's going, which way the wind's coming from, which way the boat's gonna be moving. And then once we dial in all that stuff, we start getting some bites, we'll fish that zone and uh, hopefully continue to get some bites here. But first, as you guys know, I got to make bait. And that's exactly what we did this morning. Um, we got some big, beautiful pilchards. Just check these pilchards out. These make me really happy to start a morning like this and have a bait well full of this. So even if the bite's slow, sometimes I can put some freebies in the water, generate the bite. It really does help get the spike going. But right now I have no current, literally zero, 0 0.3. Oof. So far we got two baits out. We got a long and a short. As long as you got one bait very long, one bait very short, not very short, but uh, much shorter, you'll never tangle them. So no matter what size boat you're on, I understand that a lot of you guys don't have, you know, full 25 foot boat to uh, <coughs> to use, to, to utilize the length of the boat. You might be just fishing the back of the boat. So if you just put one bait, ooh, are we gonna bite here? If you put one bait long, one bait mid, one bait short, you're able to get three baits out without tangling them up. And then of course you can get deep baits out as well. The back bait's getting super nervous. Super nervous. Slow so far, not a lot of current out here. If we don't uh, get a bite here, we're gonna run a little further south. Finally, starting to hear some birds chirping and been unevent uneventful so far. Deep line's gonna get nailed. Come on, baby, eat it. Unless he's on there already. Pull some drag for us, baby. Might have got the bait. No, he's still there. He's kicking. Luis is going to do some slow pitch jigging. Sometimes that helps bring the bites up to our live baits. But just, just not enough current right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hottest trigger fish bite we've been on in a long time. You should consider going pro, buddy. Stay tuned for the how to trigger fish video. All right, we're going to go south, try to find some current here. I was hoping I didn't have to burn some fuel today, but. But you do what you gotta do. What is that? What is that? Oh, big log! Big log up top. Flyers all over. 
A little shallow, but we're gonna check this thing out. I got nice bamboo over there. Not as big as I thought, but big enough. Nice one, dude. There's a triple tail on this thing too. Get him. Oh yeah, mahi all over this. I'm hooked up, I'm hooked up. Mahi all over the stick. That's a nice one, dude. That's a gaffer, bro. Hang on. Let's, let's get some more baits in the water here. Look at that big one. Dude, that's a big one. Tell you what. Oh my God. Bring them around on this side for me. Yeah. We got two hooked up. Nice fish, dude. Right in the back. There's a nice one right here. Look at this one. We are in a bite, guys. This is definitely the best mahi fishing I've seen in my entire life. Every time we come out here, it's been guaranteed. You find a bird, you find some bait, these fish are there. Nice. A lot of nice fish in here. That's a nice one too, dude. They're all about the same size in about that five day pound range. Let's see if we get a bite on this other rod here. We found a nice little floating piece of bamboo that had some fish on it. Kind of lost it in the distance there, but I'm kind of tracking which direction we're drifting. And then we're gonna take us back on over there. Let's get one more in the box. And the question is, Who's gonna fillet these fish? Oh God. <laughs> in the last video, if you guys saw, we crushed the mahi in shallow and uh, I had to go do some work. I left Luis here to fillet all those fish and now I got him a brand new knife, so. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. That's a nice one. Another my side, it's just one quick motion. Get, get it right through. Go around the other side, yep. Let's see if we can find that bamboo again. So we got some north current, east wind. I should be able to follow my track and calculate the drift here a little bit. <coughs> let's see, let's see. We were drifting with the, pretty much at the same speed that bamboo was. Just incredible that uh, I came out here to target kingfish early this morning, couldn't get a king. And then the dolphin make their appearance. Beautiful. Beautiful how healthy the mahi fishery has been this year. Possibly to due to the hurricanes that buzzed by and what else can I attribute it to? Could be cycles cycles of 25 years 50 years oh there it is there it is found it found it
Tried to get a wahoo or something big down deep there. We sent a pretty big goggle eye down there on the deep line. And then we had the slow pitch going and got some miscellaneous fish there. But what a luxury to be able to get mahi. I mean, you can see the shoreline in the background. I'm nothing but a couple miles offshore there. Which reminds me, when you're in state waters, which is what we are, you're only allowed five fish, five mahi per person. So I keep hammering that point because it's become more and more common to catch mahi in shallow here. Uh, Luis and I could have absolutely loaded up, but I think we kept about five right there. Released a bunch. All right, we got to get some kingfish now. I want a big king. Let's do it. I'm gonna head a little south, look for some current. Ooh. Oh, a little wet. Frigate bird up there, frigate. We got a frigate up there. Like I said, we're gonna dolphin fish again. <laughs> oh man, these things won't let me stop. I wanna get to where I'm going, but I keep seeing all kinds of good stuff. And right now we're fishing over the reef here trying to get in on some kingfish action I'm gonna do a little bit of live chumming. I just rigged up a little haywire twist on a little J hook and a swivel You guys can get these also on livebait.com ready to go so, uh... Let's see if we get another fish here Oh one rod's getting nervous right here. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Come on, baby. There might be a fish on that one. This is the long bait, I think. Yep, long bait. This is what you were born to do. Grouper, nice grouper. got two in the box we're allowed two more kingfish you're allowed two per person so we had some big bites there I'd like to get like a 30 40 pounder just smoke for real Another nice king baby good work learning you're always learning out here studying the conditions now i know where the fish are at now that i know where they're at going right to them Look at him jumping. Is he off? He's off. The little rod in the rod holder. Rodney did it for us, just smoking off drag. Freaking sailfish on top, dancing. We have a little J hook that we're using to catch these little kingfish, so they shook it off, but just unreal to hear the power of those sailfish. And that wasn't a baby rod, it's a 15 pound rod, you know, with 30 pound braid on it. So there's a little bit of heat on there and it could just smoke it. Right now we're covered up in frigate birds, about to get another bite here.
good or bad fishing trip. You gotta treat yourself. Going healthy today. Oh, all right, there's what we call perfection. And check this out. You know what's better than one of these bad boys? Two of these bad boys, baby. Nah, I can't do it. It's for Louis. Mmm.